So for some time, you know, we have offered products that are complete solutions to customers' problems, and they package a lot of functionality in one product that we can sell to them on a software-as-a-service basis, and it doesn't involve a lot of technical complexity. You don't need developers. You can just kind of turn it on and start putting video on your website or start creating uh, basic apps. But we have another set of customers that we've been dealing with, and it's been you know, uh, you know, part of, of what we've seen in the demand in the market over time, who actually prefer to build their own solutions. And they often have very customized requirements. They need to build out something that does a very, something very specific. And instead of buying a complete solution, what they want is the componentry so that they can build a more customized solution. And so we've recognized that that's a big market opportunity for us uh, to go after. And so we looked at companies that are leaders in that type of technology. And Zencoder has been a leader in specific technology for encoding video. So for somebody who is building a, a custom video system, needs best-in-class video encoding, and they want to, uh, the cloud APIs to do that in the cloud, Zencoder has been the technology leader in that space. And so we thought it was a great uh, fit, complementary to what we're doing right now, new way of approaching the market, and, and the best technology available. And so we acquired the company, but it's really part of a bigger strategy to actually embrace developers as technical decision makers and offer them building blocks for building custom solutions as opposed to having to just you know have a one-size-fits-all approach. Um, and so we're going to participate in the market in both ways, both with complete solutions like we have in, in historically, as well as offering platform as a service offering to developers. And that's the strategy that's unfolding with the Zencoder acquisition. For, for on-demand video content, you can actually use a Zencoder uh, account to actually, with a lot of great customization options, encode video really quickly and then take that video and put it into a Brico Video Cloud account. That would be a simple example of the type of integration that you can do now. Uh, over time, we're going to be actually replacing the encoding technology that's built into Video Cloud with the Zencoder technology because it's faster and has better features than what we've developed in-house uh, uh, previously. So that's an example of the kind of workflow that, uh, that's available in the, in the short term. With some of the new products that we're going to be talking about in a, in a few minutes um, and that we announced uh, yesterday, there are even in more interesting workflows around live video publishing so that you can actually take um, live video event streaming, um, do that in the cloud using Zencoder, and then have that broadcast content directly into video cloud players, um, which is exciting. And that's a, that's a workflow that is possible today with the new um, live cloud transcoding. What we're focused on building out is the strategy I talked about earlier, continuing to deepen our software as a service complete solution offerings while simultaneously um, having a great set of offerings for developers that um, are built by developers for developers. And I think that the Zencoder products uh, embody that. I think that our app cloud offering for building um, mobile apps actually embodies that. And we look forward to, to participating in the market in both ways.